This workout is packed with compound exercises for an awesome full body workout. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna get strong, and the only thing you need will be your moderately heavy dumbbells, and if you got them, get your ankle weights. I'll see you for our warm up. grab your weights, and let's do this. Every great workout starts with a good warm up. So we're gonna get into our first warm up exercise, arm pulls to bum kicks, taking the arms up parallel to the floor, and let's go. Bring those heels up. We've got five warm up exercises that we'll work through to work from head to toe here in the warm up. So we are ready to lift heavy and go all in for our 30 minutes together today. Squat to knee pull is gonna be next. Three, two, and one, get that squat position. We're gonna squat it down nice and slow. And then as you come up, bring that knee to pull. Down and pull. Warming up the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the hips. Whew. Let's talk about the structure we've got going on for today's work it. Work it. <laughs> I'm getting ready to say circuit. So <laughs> we have got a circuit workout today. We've got three circuits. Those exercises, there's four. We're gonna repeat the exercises two times working in a vertical format, which means we'll start at the top of the list, work our way down. The work time's gonna be on 50 seconds, rest 20 in between the sets, rest 45 in between those circuits. Last squat here into good mornings, hand pull, hands on your hips, feet a little wider than shoulder width, slight bend in the knee, drive the hips back and up. Take your time through this so you can feel that nice stretch down the hamstrings. Back flat. And down, good. Breathing. Two more, and then we're gonna go into a low sumo squat with a twist. And last one, down and up. So take those legs out wider, toes out. We're gonna drop it low. Keep that bum down here in this sumo squat. Take it down. Hands right in front of your knees here. We're gonna drop one shoulder towards the center. Press open here with to stretch out the inner thighs and then switch sides. Hold it for just a second, actively moving through this. Not holding the stretches too long, even though it is such a good one. I love this one to warm up with. We're gonna hit the arms next. As we work through the arms, I'm gonna tell you the first four exercises for this circuit. Here's two more and one. Bring it back center, feet together. We're gonna to reach up nice and tall. We're gonna do two big arm, or arm circles back with both arms. So reach up nice and tall and let those arms fall back. And here we go, reach up. So this first circuit, these four exercises, again, we're gonna repeat them two times through. We've got a suitcase squat with hammer curl, scapular retractors right into rows, alternating diagonal squat to press and Romanian deadlift, and finally a sumo squat. One more here with our arms, and then grab your weights for suitcase squat to hammer curl. Remember, we're lifting moderately heavy, so challenge yourself for these 50 seconds. Grab your weight, meet me here, and let's do this. So getting into that squat position, shoulders rolled down and back, head, chest up, weight stays in the heels. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat it down first. As you come up, bring those dumbbells up, hammer curl, and down. So I mentioned a lot of compound moves today. You will see we'll be working the upper body and the lower body together. That's gonna get the heart rate up. Really makes for an awesome workout. You're gonna feel so good by the end. Over halfway, drop it down and squeeze. Ten seconds out. Drop it, then we're gonna get 20 seconds, go into the scapular retractors plus rows. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice. So for those scapular retractors, it's a tough move. We're gonna still work pretty heavy. We'll do the scapular retraction, bring it down, and then we'll go right into the row. So in that row position, shoulders rolled back here, slight bend in the knee, drive the hips back. Going in three, Two, and one. So just that retraction there. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Back down, then row. Take your time. 
squeeze shoulder blades around spine. Down and then row. Good, so as you do that retraction, think about sticking the chest out, down towards the floor, and then row. This one helps build the posture. It helps you make that mind-muscle connection. Squeeze, good, row. And row, good. Almost there. Here we are, three, two, and one. Awesome. One dumbbell for this one. I'm gonna go up just a little bit. We are gonna do that alternating. We're gonna do a squat, diagonal. We're gonna reach down for the bottom diagonal, come up to a press, then we're gonna meet in the middle for that Romanian deadlift. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, squat it down, press it up, center both hands on that dumbbell, Romanian deadlift, good. Now, squat it down, press it up, Romanian deadlift in the center. Take your time, focus on this one. Not about the reps, about the form, about the full range. Good. Down. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, sumo squat. So two heavy dumbbells on each side or one heavy dumbbell in the middle, moderately heavy, I should say. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell in the center. Whoo, breathing, three seconds. Here's two and one sumo squat. Down and squeeze. Think here about those inner thighs. Think as you press up, think about almost zippering your thighs together. So really think about that squeeze right there. Down. Weight stays in the heels, so press through the heels. Press that floor away as you come up. Keep that chest up. Over halfway. It's been a minute since we've worked. 50 seconds here on the clock, so it is getting tough. You'll be amazed at that little five tenths extra seconds that we've got. It's gonna push you today. You got it though. Here we are, three, two, and one, awesome. Now, going back to the top of that list. Suitcase squat and hammer curls. Grab your dumbbells, 20 seconds. So finishing out this circuit. Squat position, shoulders roll down and back. Dumbbells right next to your sides for that suitcase to hammer. And let's begin, here we go. Drop it down. As we come up, curl it up. And down. Good, squeeze. Halfway. Now when we're working an upper and lower body move, you wanna make sure that the weight you're picking, because for me squats, I could go a little bit heavier, probably same for you, but with the upper body, couldn't quite do the same weight. So always accommodate for that, I don't wanna say smaller, but the, the lighter dumbbell, because I've taken it into account for the rest of the workout for the lower body. Here's three, two, and one. Scapular retractors into rows. We got 10 seconds. Breathing, let's hinge it, let's get ready so we don't miss a second of work. Hinge it down, back flat, core engaged. We go in three. Two, and one. So bring those shoulder blades together. Stick that chest out, back down. Now row, squeeze, shoulder blades around spine. Hold it for a second, control it down. Retract, good, and row. Work at your own pace. Think of them as two separate moves here. So finish out that scapular retractor, then go into the row. 
I'm telling you, this is this one is, ooh, really wakes up the back. Really helps your mind focus on that muscle too. Get more out of the exercise. We're almost there. Ooh, here it is. Three, two, and one. One dumbbell. Going back to the one, the exercise, the one. <laughs> that one exercise. The exercise where we got a lot going on. Diagonal drop to squat to press. Romanian deadlift in the center, then switch sides. In three, in two, and one. Here we go. Drop it down, press it up. Romanian deadlift in the center. Drop it, good. Back drop, and press. Romanian deadlift. Take your time in that Romanian deadlift. And squeeze. Almost there. 10 seconds. Here it is. Three, two, one. Awesome. Sumo squat is next. So get that dumbbell or dumbbells again. We're 10 seconds out. We're moving quick. Shoulders roll down and back. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's go. And up. Press through those heels. Think about squeezing those inner thighs. You are gonna get 45 big ones. That's just seconds of rest after this. This next circuit, circuit two, is where you're gonna need your ankle weights if you got them. Make sure to have those ready. Down and press. Oh, 10 seconds out. Breathing. Come on, keep it strong. Three, two, and a one, nice. Whew, all right, breathe for a second, grab a drink, dry off if you need that. And I'm gonna pop on the screen what we've got going on for these next four exercises. So get your ankle weights on too while I'm chatting with you. First exercise, glute, single leg glute bridge with leg lift and tuck. We're gonna switch sides. Then we're gonna go to a hammer to chest press. Then finally, dead bug pullover. So if you have a chance, grab your weights for all of that now. And we'll get ready. No, you can use a weight if you'd like for this first exercise. Bringing it down. I'm gonna do one dumbbell right across. Single leg glute bridge. Here we go. So bring it up, leg lift, and then tuck it in. Back down, drop the hips. Drive the hips up. Leg lift and tuck and drop. Good. Now think about that connection on the ground here with that foot. Drive through that foot, push that floor away. This one is gonna work the core, by the way. We're of course hitting the glutes but this one also works that core. Almost there, lift, come on, tuck. This is three, two, and one. Bring it down. We get to switch sides. Oh, yay. <laughs> Gotta make both sides even. We don't wanna be lopsided. So we're getting ready to switch it out. Single leg glute bridge to lift and tuck. Three seconds, two, and let's go. So here we go, lift, push through that heel. Lift the leg up and then tuck. Back down. Take your time, don't rush through it. Hold that leg up, hold that glute bridge. Squeeze, get that tuck, slow lower down.
Almost there. 10 seconds. Here we are, three, two, and one. Awesome. Now we're gonna go into a hammer chest press and then into a regular chest press. So for the hammer, palms face each other. That's the hammer position. Then we'll go into that neutral chest press. Breathing, five seconds out. We go in three, two, and one. So press it up, hammer. Back down, regular. So when you get back down to that starting position where the arms, the upper arms are on the mat, that's when you make that hand position switch. So not mid rep, down and then press up. And get that full range here with that hammer, meet those dumbbells in the center. You're gonna get a little bit more out of that squeeze in the chest with this one. Cause you don't have the ends of the dumbbell in the way. So up, squeeze, almost there, three, Two and one. Awesome. Now we're gonna do dead bug with pull over. One dumbbell here. Holding on to the big end of the dumbbell. Bring those legs up 90 degrees. Two options. Hold the legs in 90 degrees or alternate leg lower as the arms lower. And let's begin. Good. Keep those legs at 90 degrees. If you're adding that leg lower, keep that low back pressed into the mat. Don't let those arms come too far forward as you bring it back to neutral to that starting position. Check the legs, make sure they're at 90. Whew, almost there. You can really feel this one in the core. Oh, this is awesome for the abs. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. Breathe. We're starting over from the beginning. We're going on. I realized I never put my ankle weights on. Oh, my God. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> All of you have had your ankle weights on. Rolling it back, single leg, glute bridge to lift and pull. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift it up. Okay, yeah. It's amazing what one little pound here will do for you. And lift it up, lift, back down. Come on, get that tuck and lower. Breathing. Oh my word, this simple move is a burner. Oh, we got this. Come on, you got this. Tuck it in. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Oh my word. Oh, breathing. Oh, the ankle weights. Yep. Switching sides, just moving to the other side. So lift. Tuck and lower, going in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift it up, lift that leg. Tuck it in, extend it, and lower. Breathing. I'm afraid I might be making some embarrassing noises on this one here, cause, oh, it's the quads, you feel it? You feel it in those quads? My word, I'll be danged. Whew. And down, lift it up. 50 seconds of work. You are amazing. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Oh, and lower. Awesome. Back to hammer chest press. 
and regular chest press. Two dumbbells. So palms face each other, elbows out. Going here, three seconds, two and one. So bring it up, get that squeeze at the top, lower it back down, elbows wide, flip the wrists. Here we go. Regular chest press up to the top, squeeze. Control it down. Work at your own pace here, but make sure you're going slow, feeling those chest muscles start to activate. Exhale as you lift. Well over halfway through this set. Remember those dead bug pullovers next? Here it is. Three, two, and one. One dumbbell, dead bug pullovers. Now again, you have the option to just hold the knees at 90 degrees or do those alternating leg lowers. Holding onto that dumbbell, press that low back into the mat. Engage that core right away here. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm actually a little excited that I didn't have the weights on for this first set because it's showing me what a difference the ankle weights make. I can tell you right now, they are making such a big difference. I can feel that core activating even more. Ooh, that is good. If you're interested in the ankle weights, I'll leave them in the description. They are really such a sweet little tool to have. Ooh. Almost there. We get 45 seconds after this. Here's three, two, and one. Breathe. Tell you what, you wanna work your abs without crunches. That is the way to do it. Same with those glute bridge leg lowers. Keep your ankle weights on, if you, if you dare. We're going into circuit three. First, we're gonna start with the four exercises. Squat, two alternating leg lift, kneeling towel off press, narrow push-up to alternating rear leg lift, and then finally plank walks. So grab your dumbbells for the squat with alternating leg lift. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier now on this squat than I did that first exercise, the suitcase to hammer curl, because it's really focused on the lower body here. So dumbbells up at your shoulders, going in three, two, and one. So squat it down, side leg lift, Back to squat, then we'll switch. Down, up, and lift. Whew. So you'll see we're gonna challenge our balance here. Getting that outer thigh, glutes, and squeeze. Good, lift. Take your time with that lift so you don't lose your balance. Whew. Down. Ten seconds. Last circuit, by the way. How awesome is that? Here's three, two, and one. Hell off press is next. I drop it down on this one. This is a tough one, but again, amazing core. We are working the abs like you would not believe today. I'm sure you can feel it. You can do this standing if kneeling bothers your knees. If not, bring it down, hands crossed and let's press. Press it out, squeeze. So the kneeling here is gonna activate those glute muscles a little bit more. You're gonna feel the squeeze in the legs as you hold that balance. Core activates right away as we press away. Good. Keep those hips tucked under here. So make sure your bum is not sticking back, you're not arching your back. Tuck the hips just as you would if we were standing. And squeeze away at the glutes. Just extending parallel to the floor here. So you don't want your arms lifting up towards the sky, down towards the ground, straight out in front. Almost there, narrow push up to leg lift next. Here's three, two, one. 
Good. Woo. Dumbbells out of the way. Now you can do the push-ups on your toes and then you'll do those leg lifts after that. So narrow push-up, hands close together. This is gonna target the back of the arm here. Breathing. Let's get it in push-up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, back to plank, lift the leg, squeeze the glutes, both legs, and then back down. Now, as you press up, think about squeezing those arms around your body. So you drop it low, arms are hugging your sides, press up, squeeze. Yes, I have to make those noises as I'm trying to do the push-ups. I can't talk normal. Oh. Whew. Squeeze the core, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. That's gonna make those push-ups easier, I promise you. Almost there, squeeze. Here we are, three, two, one. I got out of that a little early. Oh, gosh. Whew. Compound moves, no joke. We are starting over. Again, squat to alternating leg lift. Grab your dumbbells. This is it, last four exercises. You know what we got going on. Dumbbells up, three, two, and one. Here we go, squat it down and lift. Anyone else feel the shake? Okay. Don't forget to breathe, keep that chest up. Come on, push and lift. I'm so glad you joined me for this one. I'm not joking, oh my God. This has been so tough, but feeling so good already. It feels good to get strong. It really does. You already know, you're making life easier, getting stronger here, so we can be stronger out there. Almost there. Kneeling pal off press, remember, is next. Let's finish strong here with these squats. Three, two, one. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I miss one of the extras, I miss plank walks. So at the very end, hey, real life here. We're real. <laughs> Two sets of plank walks back to back. Now we're gonna go into pal off press. So bring it down, kneeling or standing, going in three, two, and one. Here we go, press it out and back in. Tuck the hips, squeeze the core. Activate those core muscles right away. Oh, good. I'm glad that we didn't get to the end of the workout and I was like, why do I have so much time left on my timer? Well, that's because you forgot the plank walks. So we will have plank walks, but again, we'll do those two sets back to back. Oh, goody. We're gonna be lighting it up today. Oh, fire's already started though. Almost there. Narrow push up to alternating leg lift will be next. Here we are, finish strong. Three, two, and one. All right, get into position. Narrow push up, alternating leg lift. Three seconds. Here's two. And let's go. Lift, squeeze the glutes. Don't worry about how high you're getting your leg. Just think about that contraction in the glutes as you lift. So right here, squeeze. Keep yourself strong, straight, solid here. Come on, down, push, and lift. Drive those elbows back. Get that work in the triceps. We're almost there. Here we are, three, two, and a one. All right, plank walk. Plank walks, you can do these on your knees or your toes. We're gonna keep it up, we're gonna march it down onto forearm, and then press back up on the hands. Alternate leading down with sides and leading up with sides. So if you lead down with right, lead up with right, and then lead down with left, lead up with left. Three seconds, two, 
and one. Here we go. Now, as you lower down, keep shoulder, elbow in line. As you press back up, wrist, shoulder, elbow, all in line. Whew, squeezing the core. Well, this is gonna teach me to read my board a little bit better the next time. <laughs> so we don't have to do plank walks back to back for 50 seconds. You are a champ for following with me right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Whew. You got this, don't give up. Let's do this together, come on. Finish strong and up. Here's three, two, and one. Breathe, one more set. One more set, you got this. You can take the ankle weights off if you'd like. We got a little bit of time, we got 10 seconds out. We'll get right back into it. 50 seconds to go. All right, five seconds. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. Plank, walk it out. Remember, alternate sides, lead with the right, up and down, then lead with the left. The core is, you can feel the core. You can feel that your abs have been work today with all of the other exercises and we did not even do one crunch but i'm telling you you are building strong abs you're building strong legs you're building strong arms all around right now oh this was a good one guys you rocked it we are almost there keep pushing you know what you got to do after this right and it's gonna feel oh so good here's three two and one you gotta go get a stretch do not forget the stretch. Hey, if you're interested in our August calendar, that is out now to keep you planned, keep you going before our next program, Incredible Starts in September. I love you so much. You are the bomb. Have an amazing one. Thanks for joining me. I love you. <laughs>